What's going on guys? Today we got three drills that we can do to help with our foot and ankle stability. If you know some of my athletes, you know we're big. A key component for us is how do we stabilize on the foot? Can we stay balanced? What is our body control? These three things are huge for us. So the first thing we wanna do is, we're gonna start off with just a simple drill. This is us coming onto the turf, make sure our shoes are off, we're barefooted. We wanna feel the muscles in the bottom of the foot. We wanna grip the ground. We want the brain and we want that spinal cord to tell us exactly where our movement should be. So we're stabilizing on one foot. The opposite leg is in, is in hip flexion. We're holding, just trying to hold our center of gravity for about 10 to 15 seconds. From there, we're gonna progress into a squat, almost like a single leg squat, and then we're coming back up into that hip flexion. And all we're doing is just attempting these movements. We wanna stay balanced and stabilized through that entire motion. And we also wanna have complete control, complete standing upward position when we come up to that top position. We wanna be stabilized at that point, all right? We wanna be have complete control. And then from there, we're progressing to a movement to where we get a little hop at the top of this movement now. So we're still going into that single leg squat, but now we're just adding a little bit of hop. And as we come down, we're really working the sensory muscles or the, or the sens uh, sensory receptors and that foot and ankle. And these movements are great for somebody who actually just came back from any type of sprain, high ankle sprains, low ankle sprains. You have it, even though you're pain free when you're coming back, you haven't worked those sensory uh, receptors in the foot and ankle. So we wanna make sure we're always targeting those. When we're in our shoes, uh, majority of the time of the day, those muscles are, are not getting trained as much as we need to. So we always wanna make sure we build some time to train these type of action. All right, this is gonna be huge. From there, if we want to progress to something that's a little bit more harder, this is where I want you to shut the eyes when we're doing these movements. This takes on a whole nother challenge. Those sensory receptors now has just went up completely. So these exercises are huge, they're big. These are something that you can do not only before workouts, after workouts, and then this is something that you should just keep in your training profile to help you uh, for ankle and foot stability and recovery.